Hello friends, welcome to day two of our 21 days of fasting and prayer, also 21 days of intervention that we call research. Today I want to talk to you about how exactly do we fast and see results. A lot of people engage in fasting and prayer and have nothing to show for it. They sometimes think that maybe God is angry at them, maybe God is mad at them and they're wondering, God, why are you not seeing this? Lord, all those things I'm doing, why are you not taking note of it? There is a Bible way to fast and see results. There is a Bible way to fast and see results. We understand that fasting is staying away from food for the purpose of spiritual edification. That's what you're fasting for. There's a spiritual thing you have in mind. Some people stay away from food because they want to lose weight. That's not a fast. Some people stay away from food because they are busy. That is not a fast. A fast is a conscious and deliberate decision to stay away from food because of something you want to achieve spiritually. That's a spiritual goal and focus that you have in mind. So having said that, in the period where you're fasting, you're staying away from food. And do you want to say this quickly? Someone says, how exactly do I fast? The first thing is this. You must have clear purpose. Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 6, it says, when you fast, he says, do it in secret and your heavenly father sees you will reward you openly. When you fast, you need to have clear outcomes. The reason why is this. If you fast and you don't have clear outcomes, when God responds to you or you receive something, how exactly do you even know what you have received? Because you're not conscious of it. So I would, I, I would ask you, will you write down something and say, this period of fasting, one, two, three, get a very nice sheet of paper, one, two, three, other things. And that will help you stay focused in the season of fasting, your desire is this. One, I want God's direction about my relocation project. Number two, I want God to guide me about my funding business. Number three, I want God to speak into me in life about my marital delay and cause there to be a change. Those are examples of outcomes you want. The second thing is this. When you fast, set aside time for prayer and for Bible study. Fasting without prayer and Bible study is hunger strike. Oh yes, you heard me. Fasting without prayer and Bible study is what purely hunger strike. If your fasting is going to be powerful, if your fasting is going to change things, if your fasting is going to move mountains, if your fasting is going to unnest things and amplify the results you want us to do, you must, you must invest deliberate and intentional time in the place of prayer and Bible study. Listen to me. If you fast and you pray and you spend all the time watching TV, on social media, invested in your work. That's not a fast. You just distracted yourself and missed meal. A true fast is denying yourself of food to focus on the spirit. A true fast is fasting the flesh to fatten the spirit. I'll be back tomorrow as I continue teaching on how to fast. What? It's okay. <laughs>